Hello everyone, and welcome back for the next episode in our Walking Dead playthrough, season two. Yay, Kenny lives! But then Kenny got captured same night we found him. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how this is playing out so far. This new group that we're with, they got some interesting people there, but the problem is, is they act like children half the time. I feel like Clementine's the oldest one in this group. Constantly yelling at people, the way they're treating the group that we just found inside the lodge, like they own the place? I mean, come on. Not to mention sticking that moment in there where I had to choose which table to sit at. I mean, come on, that was so cruel. But unfortunately, this Carver character has literally tracked these people down for five days, round up everybody that's still alive, and it sounds like we are going to start hauling back to wherever they're from. I got a feeling things are not gonna go well when we get there. If by some chance it's your first time finding the channel, welcome, hope you have a fantastic time. And if you do have an awesome time, it sure would help me out if you think about hitting that subscribe button. I don't know about you all, but I'm dying to find out why Carver was willing to hike so far for so long to get this group back. Hopefully, we're gonna find out in this episode. In harm's way. Oh my goodness, it sounds like we're underground, like in a, a sewer tank or something. Previously on The Walking Dead. Huh. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. <laughs> yeah. The way it played out with him. I don't know. I didn't. I was not liking that character, where they were going with him. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Oh! Go to hell, you. F oh. We're going home. As a family. As a family. <laughs> We've been adopted. Oh, okay. Ooh. This is interesting. Should I try to grab it? <laughs> you got done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's uh, like we're safer together. They told me to come. Why wouldn't I? Uh, we're safer we're together. Safer if we stick together. It's gonna be dark soon. Yeah, I know. But it's cool you came. I thought they were gonna tell my dad to go with me. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm. Yeah, at least they got each other, kind of keep each other company. About the same age. Everything come out all right, girls? <laughs> Troy, get them tied up. Will do. Uh, I would totally say that. Well, we're on our way. <laughs> Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carve her out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Uh, I know I had a radio like that once. Where's I'm sorry. manners? Let's just keep staring. <laughs> we ain't scared of you, dude. No! Oh! You don't want to test me, girl. Oh. I'll pass every time. <laughs> oh, I didn't Leave expect that. Alone. Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. <laughs> Something tells me any of the other options probably wouldn't have got me slapped like that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Clementine. We ain't giving in. I know how tough you are. You probably took that hit and was like, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! <laughs> wow. So maybe he didn't have to hike five days to find them, but I feel like it still would have had to been five days from the cabin, right? 
Because they went through woods. It's not like they could have drove the truck all the way to that bridge knowing that that's where they were heading. My, my first thought, too, would be like, if you go out there and you bring all these people back that clearly wanted to leave, how do you trust them not to do it again or to cause some kind of problem, you know? I mean, Carver's awfully confident that this is going to be just fine to bring these guys back. Like he's trying to prove some point or something. I don't know. All right, we got to do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that going to uh, There's nothing here. The Why bother? With you like what? We got to get out of here. Uh, like what? Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp. Anything that can help. A, a fucking... I don't know. Anything. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We got to do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? <sighs> oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking uh, about? Is he going to kill us? You could have warned us. What do you mean he's worse? Let's go that one. What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. That's not fair. You're blaming mm. him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you uh. can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit Kenny, down. Kenny's back in freak out mode. That's season one, Kenny. What you're talking about? We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Uh, yeah, stop fighting. We have to do something. Before. Kenny, calm down. Uh, I'm gonna tell him to calm down. Been prisoners. Why do you think we left? Kenny, please calm down. I think everyone is just tired and cranky. She's right. We should all take it down a bit. All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> There, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. He may not be around. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Luke will help us. Can you try right? Uh, I think Luke's gonna come back and help. Calm down, please. Luke will help us. Oh yeah? When? After that crazy fucks killed us all? Hey, look, Clem. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. How's what he supposed exactly to? Do you expect to do? I'm gonna yeah. punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. <laughs> just sit down. <laughs> Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. <laughs> hey, just if something happens, just help uh. out, okay? Don't you know get yourself hurt or nothing. But any help would be good. Kenny, man. Look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please. Uh, I'm just, scared. I trust you. This is a bad plan. Oh, uh, let's just they say it's a bad plan. Maybe we should wait. Maybe come up with a different plan. I okay, hon. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Everybody ready? Kenny! Uh, oh. Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? <laughs> I think so. He got knocked oh, out by the door. hit me. It's probably for the best. Oh, Kenny, man, he's like, he's like, leap, leap again, leap again, then take a look. <laughs> All right, up and at him. There she is. She's the recruit. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Ah. Now, I understand some of you are confused why we bring these people back when they left us as they did right i've got an idea now, it might not come all at once but time will heal these wounds so be patient with them until it does it takes 
solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. My goodness, oh, yeah. I'm saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, I need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. It doesn't turn our way. It's nothing we can't handle. So I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks and after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project... Hmm. Uh, he'll be back. Grow up. I'm sorry. Uh, he'll be back. He'll be back. When? I don't know. But he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can it's save no you from messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. To provide a light. A bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, is this what the guy they were talking about you? earlier? This could have been worse. Trust me. I'm lucky oh. to be alive. I guess I should. Say Reggie helped us you, but when we ran he away. Him. What happened to his arm? Uh, why didn't go? Uh, let's go. What happened? What happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both oh. his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Is Carver going to tell him? Rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. This is such a weird hey, situation. Hey, Ridge. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. So this is like a temporary, you gotta earn your way in kind of a holding area. Oh, right. Let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? Uh, it doesn't this matter. Clementine. What's it? Do? Uh, Clementine. Okay. Freaks me out, too, sometimes. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hmm. He seems nice. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Nope. What about Nick? Nope. He was always taking stupid risks. Can't say I'm surprised. Poor guy. Can you guys save it for the morning? Thought that was Lee for a second. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. For a brief okay, second, I Mike. thought that was Lee. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, oh. he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. <laughs> I know. I mean, he did. She's so, watching us. Who is she? I'm not. Question by herself. Uh, who's she? Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there? Oh, yeah, right. 
Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. <laughs> They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Uh, well, yesterday. We just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. It sure Bill seems like it. it happen. Look, I've made mistakes. Uh, this feels like prison cover killed my friend. For what he's Are you done, serious? Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I I'm going to go with just with dots. Accident. It's just that much more important now. Listen, you seem like a nice enough guy, but Carver is a fucking maniac. We're busting out of this place as soon as possible. Listen, oh, don't say that. I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked mm. really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. We won't get you in trouble. Then once I'm out, uh, no way, I sure. Help you more. Uh, Maybe even help sure. get you out. Okay, sure. Uh, thank you. It means a lot. She don't speak for all of us. No, but <laughs> no. if she doesn't want to cause trouble, she doesn't have to. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. Why do I they hate this place so family. much? That's it. Your family is safer here. <gasps> I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. It's uh, so weird. Didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly, uh, I don't trust him. He's just scared. I like him. Uh, I think he's, just, he's scared. just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You got to take a look around. We got to know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Uh, Reggie will get in trouble. We sure. What do I look out. for? Uh, Reggie will get in trouble. Then Reggie will get in trouble. If you don't make a bunch of noise, I'm sure he'll be fine. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Okay. It's so weird. Reggie really Water makes this place up on you, huh? Yep. I sound like a paradise. Expected. Just wasn't thinking. Okay, I'm I'm bringing this up cuz I don't know how much dialogue there might be, but he really does make this place sound like some sort of a paradise. And we saw all the crazy amount of food they got. Not to mention, I was talking about how he's been gone all this time, and this place has been just fine. But yet, there must be something really corrupt? Is that the word I'm looking for? There must be something going on here that's made these people be like, I don't want a second chance. I don't want all this food. I don't want none of this stuff. I want out of here. It's like, what? Why? What would make a person... It's like any group that we've come across or been a part of outside of this, this is what they want. This is what they're looking for. Uh, a fortified building with people that all help protect one another with lots of food. This is like paradise. But yet these people do not want this. And I'm racking my brain trying to think what could be the twist that is so bad that they're like, let us out. Now, Kenny... Kenny's back to season one freak out mode right now. He's like, it doesn't matter. I, I don't, let's not really put together a plan. Let's just go and we'll figure it out after the fact, you know? <laughs> Good old Kenny, man. Oh, okay. There's all kinds of noise. I am torn stuff. on if I want to cause trouble or not. Part of me kind of wants to. Oh my goodness, there's so many people I could interact with here. <laughs> Talk to Mike. 
Hello? I can't either, honestly. Get lost. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to be much of a conversation. So this lady here, covered in the guts and stuff, she must have figured out if you cover yourself with zombie stuff, they leave you alone. That's what I'm guessing on that one. Ooh. <laughs> we backed up slowly. I saw a fella try that a few months ago. Stand it up. Guess it's out. better than the ground. Up, yep. Yeah, like I said, it felt like Mike had done it before. He had a tourniquet on me real quick. Oh. Hmm. Looks rickety. Wouldn't want to stand on it. Okay. We come back here and kind of talk to the group a bit. I'm trying to be good. What? Reggie asked me to be good, so, so I'm being good. I don't want him to get like in Reggie. trouble. I'll Can talk to you later. later. What? I'm just asking. Hmm. No, it's okay. It's not my I real didn't name. I treat him very well these last few weeks. Things got so complicated so fast. It became all about getting through each day. I'm trying real hard to remember the last time I told him that I loved him. I've been racking my Ooh. brain. Uh, you'll tell him he knows. You should be nicer. Um, he knows. I'm sure he knows. In his heart, I'm sure he knows. I hope that's true. All right, get going. I'll be fine. I appreciate you checking up on me. You know, um, one thing I have noticed, we're in the third chapter now, or episode, or whatever it is you call this. Uh, we haven't had any of those moments where it's like free roam like this and you get to ask three questions for each person. They haven't had any of that through this. Uh, you have a little bit of dialogue and usually you pick one of three answers to a question, but that's about it so far, which is fine. I don't mind it. I feel like the pacing is a little better. I do feel like we get less time to kind of get to know each of the characters though. That's the only downside about that. Okay. Looks kind of crappy. <laughs> Topsoil. I see what she did there. Now, he did announce over the speaker there's a large group of uh, walkers that are accumulating in the south. And I remember on that, uh, in the next episode thing that we saw at the end of the last video of mine, I was getting mixed up on episode part chapter all that stuff because what i call it and what they call it is it's always confuses me but uh i remembered at the very end of that it showed a whole bunch of walkers coming out towards this place it got me thinking and this is why i said luke will come back to help i was like i wonder if luke somehow rounds them up or triggers them to come here as a way of kind of like forcing us out of the facility. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I think that's going to be a Luke thing. We'll find out, I guess, as we continue. This place seems pretty secure. It's real quiet. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just <laughs> relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Uh, but we didn't still have our hammer. Okay, I saw that little wheel thing we can turn. I'll go to that last. That seemed like the most obvious thing that would maybe cause something. Reminds me of the jewelry store. Hmm. Oh, no. I didn't get to go to the... the R real. All right, go the fuck to sleep. I'm shooting the first one of y'all I see wandering around before sunup. Troy, where's Alvin? Everybody get to bed. Oh, some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. Of course I am. I'll try. Uh, of course I am. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We need a we'll good need plan, it. though, Kenny. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. That's kind of the motto I'm going with on this. 
There's got to be some legitimate reason why they want to leave so bad. Ooh. Dude, kick me again. Stare back. Don't kick me. Oh, let's say don't kick me. Don't kick me. It's rude. Get right? Bill's gonna Troy to might remember that. <laughs> wow, she actually slept under the bed still. She's used to sleeping on the ground, I guess. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Reggie, you're nearly back in. Keep following the path and we'll welcome you back with open arms. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example I to you all. I was so tired. Salvation is available. Pay attention. I didn't even must realize be earned. that. Pay attention. Kenneth will be we'll taking over later. Reggie's okay. duties outside okay, the walls. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Michael will continue on I showing his value. I just thought it was nice to finally... Oh, come on. There. Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. So, I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. Oh, no. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. My goodness. On, we'll wait. We'll wait. What? My... I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on. Not some namby pammy thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Please don't. It's my fault. She's Come already on, scared. Carlos, just get it over. Uh, just dot. I ain't getting involved in this. <laughs> I done got slapped once for me. I'll let them figure out what they're going to do in this situation. Uh, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My goodness. I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not cuddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. <laughs> My goodness. You're working in the armory. Follow me. The armory? So I'm coming up. Damn this thing! Oh shit! Clementine. Yeah, not think she knows how to use a gun. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Great. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. I'm torn on how rebellious I should be. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. 
But the plan was for no uh, A lot of people are to blame. Carver's to blame. It's your fault. <laughs> uh, let's say a lot of people are to blame. Into it. it was just a bad situation. That got worse. A lot of people are to blame. That's big of you, but I know what I've done. But I wanted you to know I regret my part in all this. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. Hmm. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable. Uh, but you mean the prison? It's safe. Uh, which is more than I can say about a lot of places. It was cold. Out there. It was cold. I'll well, you be got that skinny nice. arms, and you ain't wearing a jacket. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, but I, you attacked I them. Why crazy. didn't you leave? I mean, they never mentioned you. Safe here. Uh, why didn't you leave? We got food. Oh, wait a minute. She's kind of explaining it. They never mentioned you. Like this. They never mentioned you. No? Hmm. Huh. Uh, not even Luke? Well, I mean, that's to be expected, ain't it? Now, you don't know me, do you? What are they gonna say? Well, Bonnie ain't here? <laughs> he wouldn't know what he was talking about. I guess that could be it. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take the situation with the herd. That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in Carver line. is dangerous. Herds came a lot of this through before. Figured out. What changed? I don't know. I guess I just wanted to I'm be I'm going to say Carver's... I, I, I don't know. Herds have come through before? Yeah. It's happened a few times. We've always come out on the other end, all right. It's something I think about whenever I consider leaving. I mean... And I ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... You respect him. He killed Walter. I'm He's crazy. Because of him. Uh, he killed Walter. That's just a fact. He killed Walter. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. Who's that? I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for Steve. I don't know. It's cool. It's kind of ugly. For no one to be uh, it's cool. To it to it's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better mm -hmm. watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. She called to see if I was down there. Wasn't she the one that told me to go down there? Come on. I have a hard time right now saying that Carver is extremely dangerous and all this kind of stuff because, like, we have other than stay he here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. He hasn't really done anything outside what we haven't done. Now, smacking Sarah or forcing Carlos to do that was out of line. I understand why he did it, but it's like, hey, I don't know. Uh, you want a hug? Are you okay? You have to be tough. Uh, how about you want a hug? Want a hug? Okay, well, I owe you one for later then. Mm -hmm. You might not know it's coming though, but I could just sneak up on you when you're not expecting it. Oh. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> well, he did that Even to protect you. Really Your dad didn't want to. You can control pain. Troy would have been worse. Uh, he didn't want to. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. Mm. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard. 
because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, it looked like it. Hey, we got hit too. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. What? Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. Seems pretty simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? I like Reggie. I want to trust so, him. Is she going to be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her uh, freaking she's baby. out and getting I think she's trouble. okay. It'll take... I'll take, I'll care, take of her. care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. <laughs> Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I got to concentrate on my work. <laughs> that was awkward. Ah. I won't do that again. I'm going to go work now. You rock, Reggie. <laughs> He's trying. Man, I hope she doesn't do something like to herself. But, you know, that's that's the bad part about the fact that help Sarah do your own work. Um, I'm going to do work. That's the bad part about the fact that Carlos has like shielded her from so much. She doesn't realize what things are like right now. Yeah, I figured she'd get to it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, boy. What? What did you do? These are only half done. Are those live branches? Clementine, I asked you to help her. Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Uh-oh. <laughs> Reggie. Yeah, Belle. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one arm. Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I have one arm. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just, like you were about to give me an excuse. Uh, it was my fault. Well, Reggie didn't show us. An Sarah didn't understand. We'll get it done. Oh, just I want to say Sarah time. didn't understand. Time's up, Reggie. But had a task. she should have. You didn't get it done. I'm just going to do Looks dots. to me like you failed. We talked about this, Reggie, didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Oh, no. <sighs> Thanks for the help, girls. Yay. Yeah. Well, that's where you're wrong. I shouldn't have to hit people. But I do know plenty of people who need to be hit. What's wrong, Sarah? She's not gonna take too many steps there, is she? Are you okay? Oh! I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances! Please, Bill. No! 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 Please. Oh no! Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Oh my goodness. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Sarah's in trouble. My goodness, she's got to pull it together. Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. 
That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You all right? Uh, Carver killed Reggie. Reggie? Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Nope. No accident. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. My goodness. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. <laughs> yep. Definitely starting to understand why people don't want to be around Carver. Rules with an iron fist. Wow, that's actually not as sturdy as I would have thought right there. Maybe I ain't it's... nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help uh, you, Uh, calm down, asshole. Kenny. Reggie's dead. Yeah, Stop fighting. Uh, Reggie's hell. dead. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Or did you... Oh no! Oh, look at that! Oh, oh and swing. swing! Got him! Oh no! Oh! Oh, that was close. Hold left on the joystick. Oh gosh! Oh, this is terrible. Oh. oh. Swoosh. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh. Uh, my goodness. Uh, let's go up. Oh, I thought we were going to climb up that. Oh, no. Oh. What do we do? Give me that screwdriver. Oh. Oh no. Uh, come on. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Nothing's changing. Oh. I'm losing! I'm losing! Oh! Boy, I was tapping that as, uh, as hard as I could, as fast Get as I could. Up. Get out of there! Come on! Make me save your ass. Jesus. <laughs> oh, thank God, you're okay. Alright, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Wow. I really expected to see a lot more people. We really haven't seen that many people outside of uh, the, the ones that we already knew. Stop! Hey! It's me! Luke! Yes! Man, put the hell out of me. Think you drew blood. Come all this way. Uh, I'm glad to see you hit him. This is, this is what are you doing one. here? Uh, I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you. I was worried. I was just close no. to smacking him. <laughs> no, it's good to see you too, kid. Alright, listen. We ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards. 
Watching everything. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, uh, to get I have to go. Food. When's the herd coming? I haven't been able to find anything. Uh, are you feeling okay? Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry. I just could use some sleep, you know. Hard to rest. Sounds like it. Workers about to get the jump on you at any any moment. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Poor guy. Okay, don't worry about me. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but well, we're in it now. It's what we got. We just we just need a plan, you know, a way to get you and and everyone. You need a nap. <laughs> Luke. Oh, sorry, sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to... Uh, where have, do I get one? I'm not sure I can. I'll get you one. Uh, where do I get one? Okay, we got a plan. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they. Uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on, get out. Oh here. no. We're going to say we got lost. The hell were you doing? Huh? Uh, nothing. Looking at comics, hiding Answer from walkers. Me. Uh, nothing. nothing. The hell you mean, nothing? Nothing. I wasn't doing anything. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Everybody wants to talk to Clementine, man. She's getting a, a tour of the place today. Even though we still ain't seen too many people. Don't feel like there's guards everywhere. There's another guy I recognize from uh, the 400 Dude, days. You better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So you should probably go. <laughs> I thought that's where we were heading. Rebecca. Something happened to Alvin. We ain't seen nothing from him She's yet. She's a strong woman. Surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. Ooh, somebody's been beat up. Oh, that might be Alvin over there. Alvin? Oh, he's Alvin! Still, still alive. He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. Your bully, let him go. Why are you doing this? Uh, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had a... It worked out. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. Mm. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Uh, he didn't deserve that. Uh, you're a murderer. I understand. Uh, you're a murderer. You have to be able to contribute. You're a murderer. You can try and call it something else. But I know what it is. What it really is. Mm. Listen, Clementine. It ain't murder. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. 
It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. Uh, I wish Kenny That's had killed you. I'm not like you. You're right. Flock, to keep them safe. I'm not like you. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. Hmm. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's right, we did. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. Uh, I'll help you. That. It's Alvin's it's baby. What if, if it's not yours? Hand all this off to. Uh, what if it's not yours? What if it's not yours? Not that we would really have any way of well, proving even if that, that I guess. was true. It's mine now. Oh. <laughs> all right now. Well, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. How did Going Troy do that? Yard. It's almost supper time. He has a mug on his desk as world's best boss. Did you see that? So funny. I mean, I get where he's coming from, but <sighs> my thought would be instead of just killing the weak, murdering them. Because we all know them, what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. At least let him go. So you want to you know? ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up. How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's uh, saying. This is a bad idea. Luke's got a plan. It does sound dangerous. This shit uh, is all sound dangerous. Sound would walkers. Um, speak to me like that. Okay, okay. Sound sorry. would draw. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. How'd she find out about Luke? that? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Oh. He told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. That's the, the route I want to go. The Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking uh, Did it work? I saw the speakers. Troy's always standing The controls are in Carver's office. Um, I saw the controls. Yeah. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. He doesn't want to do this. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The <laughs> sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult uh, to deal with. We can with do both. Me. We should get no, Luca Radio. Right. The herd is our best shot. Exactly uh, we can do both. Luke's in no shape to help us. You want to put our fate in that guy's hands? It's not happening. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. Right? You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. Turd. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll uh, over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. Right. No plan to improvise. Right. I figured out what your problem is. <laughs> you don't think this stuff through. 
If the end of the nope. plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, there is a way. I do it all the time. Yeah. Hey, I wondered who was going to say something. I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. We did it. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make uh, sure you're I've done it covered. too. You seem to know what you're talking about. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, good one, Lee. All right. What are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Ah! Maybe we get a name. Where the hell did she come from? I'm liking her. She's like an older version of Clementine. She's like, let's just let's just we do just what need needs to be done. The winch. She can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her. Uh, do I have to now or never? She's our best bet. It seems pretty. I mean, uh, now or never. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We got to get that rope down. Mike, you want to boost her up? Come on, kid. <laughs> Don't let go. I got you. Ah. Uh, grab it. It's a lot of rope there. Did it hook on anything? Oh, I see. They've got... Okay, I see what's going on. Going up! Yeah, Kenny does not... Kenny does not think things through. That is definitely his... Uh, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk. We're all done. Shit, he's coming back. Oop. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Uh, okay. Ouch. Oh, look at all those. We're in trouble. There are a bunch of them. All right, that's a good stopping point for this episode because I got a feeling things are about to get crazy. And if we follow Kenny's plan, which is basically no real plan, after about halfway through, it's definitely going to get crazy. It is nice seeing that Luke has shown up. I had a feeling he was going to, but man, he's sleep deprived. If he hasn't gotten any kind of sleep, that guy's going to be, he, he's going to have a hard time making good decisions in the whole process here. But I do like this idea of trying to get this huge swarm of zombies to come through because that will push us out and maybe give us a chance to get away from Carver, who's definitely... <sighs> He's, he's ruling with like an iron dictator kind of fist. You know, it's like, if you're weak, you die. That's just how it goes. But yet he still needs everybody to be weaker than him. He, he needs to be the strongest, toughest guy. And the way he does that is just by shooting people or pushing them off a ledge or whatever. Even with all that they have here, with all that food, all that protection, everything, if you don't feel safe inside because of the person who's ruling the inside, at least on the outside, you'd be free to try to do things on your own. It'd be different if they had a leader or a group of leaders that really did just want the best for the community and didn't only want the strongest for the community. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that first community that we ran into in season one. You know, they were they were throwing out the kids, they were throwing out the elderly, anybody who's weak, and they tried to build themselves a a paradise of sorts. This guy is kind of building something very similar. Unlike the other one where it fell apart because the rules that were in place, some of the people started to protest against some of those rules. This one's falling apart because the person who is the ruler is just brutal, which is crazy to me. He's accomplished so much. You would, you would, uh, but he's probably accomplished so much because he is just so <laughs> brutal, you know? <sighs> oh, well, I'm excited to see where this is going to go. And we will find out where that is on the next episode. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one.